Hey gang, Scott here. A quick video about snapshots in Photo Raw and when they are useful. I did a video probably a few years ago about snapshots, what they are and, and how they work. And I wanted to revisit that because uh, they are quite handy when you need to compare one treatment against another while you're in your editing session. You know, this is different than versions where you have you know multiple different treatments of the same photo. You can see all of them in browse. With snapshots, it's, it's a great way to do a quick comparison. And I have a good example here to, uh, to show you that here. I have this photo in effects and I, I know I want to treat it with some kind of LUT. I, I like to do that, my, my travel type photos. But let's just add a couple of things here. Let's you know add dynamic contrast. I always like dynamic contrast. Let's add a color adjustment and use fall. That's going to pop the yellows on this bike. Cool, great. And you know, now I'm at the realm of I, I want to do something with a LUT and I'm not quite sure which one I want to do. So, you know, one approach is, of course, you know, you go into your LUTs and let's, uh, let's see, styles, let's collapse that. Uh, first off, vintage, there's uh, there's one like 1983, I think would look good on this photo. So I could choose this and you know, dial in my adjustments here, however I need. Say, so, okay, that's, that's feeling pretty good. And now I want to compare that against a different LUT. Well, you know, I have I have a couple of approaches, and if you're not thinking about snapshots, you know what you might do is say, "All right, um, let me turn that one off, and let me add another LUT." And in this case, let's try something in color grading. Um, that actually looks pretty nice, a little strong. You know, back that off a little bit maybe a little more contrast. And then you could do this kind of game, right? Where I've got this LUT versus this LUT. And you're kind of doing a couple of clicks and bouncing in between the untreated photo and the treatment. And yeah, you can do a comparison, but that's a little more uh, cumbersome. And it's not a, a, an easy, you can just do before and after quick comparison. This is where snapshots shine. This is where they're really useful. So let's uh, let's do some snapshot work here. We'll create some snapshots and you can see how you can use them to do a, a better, you know, A versus B comparison when you're doing some edits. So let's unwind here a little bit. Let's remove this LUT. This one here was 1983. Let's just call that one here LUT 1983 so we can recognize that. And I'll go up into the upper tab here, the snapshots area. You'll notice that there's an original. You know, the original snapshot is automatically created for you when you first edit a photo. And in fact, every time you save, when you exit an editing session, Photo Raw creates a snapshot for you along the way. So you've been using snapshots even if you didn't know it. That's how it saves and tracks edits and changes. What we'll do here is say new snapshot. And I'll call this one LUT 1983. Okay. So I've got that snapshot. Now what I'll do is change this LUT. Let's just change it to, uh, what was I doing before? The, yeah, the Achen one. And I think I had that a little bit less with a little more contrast. I'll rename it. And now I can create another snapshot. Okay, and I'll call it the same thing. Now with these two snapshots in the upper right, when I click on LUT 1983, that will load in all of the settings I had when I made that snapshot. And in this particular case, I'm comparing LUT 1983 to Achen, right? And so I can do these back and forth comparisons by looking at the snapshots and it's a lot better for comparing a particular kind of treatment. You can do this for all sorts of things. You can do this as far in or as far back in your uh, editing process as you want. The snapshot is a point in time change, uh, record rather, of, of what you've done editing wise up to that point. And uh, you know, to drive the point home, let's say, okay, I'm, I'm liking what I see here, but you know, maybe I want to dial that down a little bit less. And let's take the saturation. Uh, saturations, now nah, we can push that up really far. So we can see some kind of change. You know, I can make another one. Um, let's just call it a variant. And now if I were to go through 1983, and we see these settings. And then the variant, we're going to see that saturation slider pushed up. You can do all sorts of things with these snapshots. 
check out the other video I've done on them. You know, you right click, you've got all sorts of options. You can manage your snapshots, update your snapshots. But where I like to use them is for these kinds of comparisons, this type of work here, where you're deciding between editing style A versus B, make a snapshot with style A, do something else with style B. And this is like while you're in the editing workflow different than a version, different than having, I want two completely different treatments of the photo. Because once you're done and you exit out, well, whatever you're seeing and whatever snapshot you happen to select, remember, I click that done button. Photo Raw is going to create a final snapshot saying, great, this is the, the finished. I've saved this photo out. And that's what you're going to see in browse. So snapshots are very, very useful for your, your A-B comparisons. If you're not using them uh, for that, you know, check it out. See if it works for your workflow. Hope you got uh, some good info out of this video. And any other questions, drop them below. Until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.